Okay, hey guys, um, Nesk here. Um, okay, today I'm going to be installing the ATI GraphScout driver. Um, I actually already have it installed because I had to, otherwise the recording didn't work too well. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do, okay, I'm going to have to bring up this. I have a GNOME shell installed. Uh, if it's Ubuntu, it's the exact same thing. Um, just open up your Ubuntu software center. Okay. We're going to make sure that we have the right sources um, installed. So, just go to Edit, Software Sources. Okay, and yeah, make sure this is checked. Canonical support of free and open source software. Okay, and Partners. Uh, click on Other Software, and there we go. Make sure this is checked. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so there we go, and this as well, for good measure. Okay, so once that's checked, um, just close it and let it refresh for a few seconds. It should come up here somewhere. Um, no. Well, anyway, the sources are done. Um, next thing you want to do is open up your terminal. Okay, and do an update. As in sudo apt get update. And that will refresh all your software. Uh, repositories. It might take a while, so I'm gonna might pause. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, downloaded and refreshed. Uh, let me just clear the screen. Last time I had some problems with this recordings. Um, this is like take two or three. I can't remember. Okay. So, uh, do a sudo at get install gonna install some stuff that we just need. Okay, um this is before we do the driver. Um, okay, just a bunch of stuff. Um all this is gonna be in the video description so you don't have to worry about it, you can just copy and paste. I'm gonna have to type it up. Um GKMS uh exact stack uh GH mod alias no oh says and fake root uh, fake root there we go so there I already have them installed uh, you're gonna have to install them it's just gonna be quite a bit of stuff but just uh, press Y for yes and install it um, next thing is if you have a 64 bit system like me to find out go to system settings and go to details which is just here and there a uh, 64 bit machine okay um oh shit there's updates available um okay basically you should probably update your system especially if there's a new kernel available otherwise things get messed up uh basically run the updates before you do the driver it's okay now because we want to do the libraries but um before the actual driver is installed, do the updates. Uh, but for now, if you have a 612-bit machine, you have to install this stuff as well. Uh, 32 libs, multi arch, um, i386. Oh. Okay, and um, what was it? Oh, lib32 gcc1. I hate you putting one in the file name. Let's say six. Um, I three eight six. Okay, that should do it. Boom. I already had it installed. Uh, I remember this bit when I did it. It there was a whole bunch of stuff I had to install. So, um, yeah, just press Y and wait for it to install. It's gonna take a while. Thankfully, I don't have to, and I can do it quickly. Okay, next thing you wanna do is um, go to your um user folder and um go do sudo ln sv capital t um lib and user lib sixty four you're creating some log link yeah I already have it so it didn't create for me but it's gone for you um uh, you have to input your password as well 
but you shouldn't have to because we did the updates in there. But anyway. Uh, okay, so that's that. Next thing is actually to get the driver, but um, I want to do the updates first, just to be precise. Uh, ha, Ubuntu precise, get it? Sorry. <laughs> I have a terrible sense of humor. Okay, I'm gonna pause it, but this is the update that's gonna install, okay? Okay, um, these updates are actually not important too much. Uh, the only thing you want to really make sure is that you have the latest kernel that's available. Because uh, the driver is generated for the kernel. But anyway, uh, let's open up your Firefox. And let's get the latest driver. Um, I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to put links in the video description so you can just download it. Actually, I'm going to put in a command that will download the driver for you. You just have to uh, press, as in copy and paste in the terminal, and everything should be lovely. Um, okay, so. So there's pretty much one driver for all the machines if you're on Linux. Um, as, a, as in, it's like one driver package uh, for all machines, like 32 bit and 64 bit. So there's only one thing you have to download. This is it. Um, just download it. Again. I already have it, and there's going to be a link in the video description. But in case you don't have it, as in, in case you can't work out commands or something, I don't know. It's going to be there. Just copy and paste it in the terminal, you'll be fine. Um, as you can see, it's here. Um, I'm actually going to move into a different folder. I'm going to create a new folder called Catalyst. Uh, 12.4. Okay, and control copy. Actually, no, control X because I want to call it rather than move it. And okay, um, it's going to be a bit different for you because um, basically I'm going to make it download the file from the command line because it'll be quicker for you. You won't have to go through Firefox and all that crap. Uh, we can literally just. You know, copy commands, paste them into the terminal, and wait for everything to finish. And the commands include creating this directory from command line and everything. So anyway, we're done with that. Uh, terminal. Should. Okay. Um, so yeah, just go to Catalyst. Control. Uh, press Tab to complete the sentence for you. And there, as you can see, it's there and it's executable. What? Okay, oh, that's because I made it executable. But you are going to have to make it executable. Um, it's pretty simple. You just do uh, ch mod, oh, mod plus x and am. That should be enough. There we go. Press tab to complete the command for you. Just make it executable and that'll be that. Um, and then you do something different. Okay, so this is. Um, not the way you usually do it. The driver space is the best way to do it. To make sure everything works fantastic. Lee. Um, again, which one is? I mind the updates, by the way. Um, I know it's there. It might distract, but it doesn't matter. Let them just run. Okay, uh, ch amd press tab to complete the command. Save you some time. Um, Build package. Uh, is it package or package? I think it's package. And again, you have to specify the distribution name. So Ubuntu. Precise. Okay. That's the distribution. That's the shit is going to build. Um, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video. But you can see that here it's creating a bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. It's generating the package for our shell or our kernel. But I'm gonna pause because it'll take forever. Okay, um so that's finished uh generating the packages for our system specifically. Now actually um if you have a um uh, an Intel um HD graphics and a discrete GPU for example, you you have a laptop that has that setup. Mine doesn't. Mine only has the discrete GPU that's dedicated to the graphics. But if yours does, it's actually 
better if you just run um, the driver configuration tool like let it do it that itself so basically if you have an Intel HD graphics to find out you can just go terminal um, come on <sighs> no I have it there Jesus fine um, sorry so there to find out um, if you have Intel like what hardware you have uh, what you want to do is LS PCI um, and then you put in this thing, it's pipeline command and grab for Intel because you're looking to see do you have Intel HD graphics on board okay I don't as you can see but I have a lot of Intel stuff but yeah um, basically if you have Intel HD graphics as well as the graphics card that you installed the driver for um, just do um, what is it? AMD and run it that way okay but in my case I don't so I'm, I have to generate the packages this way and then this is what you do uh, sudo d p package debian package uh, whatever uh, minus i install and we're gonna put in fg there we go uh, star dot oh, dot debian so basically this is gonna install all debian all the debian packages that we generated in this folder okay just press enter and run that I'm not going to because I already have everything installed yeah so basically that takes some time um, to generate everything fantastic next step um, what you want to do is check that you have the installation done properly um, okay you want to restart but not yet okay first thing I do is check the XR config file so just do an um, ls etc x11 shit there um, as you can see sorry um, I'll move this here and that there actually we don't need that anymore just gets in the way as you can see I have a xorg.conf file you mightn't, uh, mightn't so what you want to do is uh, make one okay this doesn't matter what directory you do it from because it, it does it in the right directory by default. So you do sudo amd config uh, initial minus f o f run that. That'll generate the the core config file. Okay. Again, I have it set up, so I'm not going to run that command. Um, to check that you have one, again, do the previous command of ls that directory it should be there okay um, you should probably do this anyway because you could have an old config file and you just over, it'll back it up and overwrite it that's fine um, okay and the last thing you want to do is to force the use of the new XOR config file so sudo amd config um, input equals and give a directory for the thing or the file name xorg.conf oh, con, conf uh, file and tls equals to one okay um, that'll force it to use the new config file that you generated okay press enter and reboot okay if you happen to c something goes wrong and you end up with a blank screen um, and you just have a terminal. You log in and try to do this. Start, start X. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't happen. You should. Everything should work fine. You should just reboot and get the usual, uh, the usual desktop manager thing up. If you have any problems, please leave a comment and I'll try to help you out and address it. Oh, just situation. Okay. Um, after you restart. Um, you could try something like this. I better hurry up. Um, oh, FGL 
X info, is it? Oh shit, no, uh mistyped it. Oh, F G or L X, is it? L R X. That should be it. So yeah, there we go. Um see, that displays my information. So everything's right, everything's working, okay? Okay, thanks for watching the video. Um please like so, uh, and leave a comment if you have any criticism, comments, questions, I'll get back to you.